just get taken out pretty early let's see let's watch this guy no he just <laughs> he straight up fell out of the tree he straight and then he got demolished on the way down what is up guys me like here and today we are back in action playing some totally accurate battle simulator or tabs and it's gonna be freaking amazing anyways guys uh, we last time we actually did superheroes versus super villains and that was like the the dark peasant uh, Which apparently is the super OP boss of the game Which I already knew that just because he costs so much and he's so OP and apparently I think that's like the final boss you fight in the campaign We'll find out today, but a few guys uh, suggested battles and there's one in particular I want to do but we're gonna start by doing a few of the other battles also if you want to suggest anything down below uh, We'll try to do some other battles and you can get as complicated as you want I mean too complicated and I might not do it it just because I don't want to individually place units for 10 minutes trying to do it anyways let's go ahead and do sandbox here and the first one is chicken man man versus five cannons and one super peasant so okay so we have chicken man man which we're gonna sit there he is uh, the giant chicken man that shits out other chicken men that also shit out peasants or I uh, chickens uh, so yeah that guy versus five cannons and one super peasant now I haven't really played much with the super boxer and then M16 and some of the super peasants either so uh, we might try some of that today as well let's see where's this super okay so uh, what a super peasant okay so we got one super peasant see I feel like the super peasant it might be better just because it costs more I'm not sure though because chicken man man is like around here somewhere yeah it's it's uh no he's this guy so yeah I mean maybe the super peasant is already better but let's go ahead and get five cannon crews and we'll find out okay so cannon crew let's do uh, I don't even know guys like let's do one two three Four and then five so let's see how this goes. I'll try to rearrange them a little bit if uh, this turns out to not be uh, quite as good Oh, dude, they are completely blasting. Also, you guys said You said I could slow this down Look at this. I think I'm slowing it down right now. Am I slowing it down? Maybe not. Maybe I'm not slowing it down so I'm gonna have to figure out how to slow this down because all you guys said I, I need to actually start using some slow motion but dude the super peasant is doing pretty good against this guy and then like the cannons are keeping him off balance this is a pretty good fight man this is actually a really good fight <laughs> the cannons are just blasting him dude and then the super peasant's flying around like a little superhero this is crazy he is still going dude they are still fighting this is nuts are, are these guys all oh, no the chicken guys are actually starting to go to uh for the cannons now so maybe i should have placed them a little farther back but i guess they wouldn't have been able to hit this oh dude that one cannon got hit midair so super peasant's like holding on for dear life right now he's like please don't let go of me oh oh my god the super peasant actually beat Dude, so maybe he could beat him solo? I don't know, man. I don't know how much of like a help the cannons were, but the Super Peasant actually beat Chicken Man Man. Which, I mean, the Super Peasant cost more, so I kind of expected that, right? But that was pretty interesting, actually. That was really good. Also, I can use some of these other things. We could use Japan. We can use Denmark. I could use the Sahara Desert. Maybe we will use... Let's use Japan. And then someone said I use I should use five chicken men men, men versus 30 ninja masters now that might be a going a little too far let's go ahead and get let's do one uh, yeah this might be a little too much man let's get three and then we'll put two behind so you got five chicken men men and then where is the ninja masters it's under Asia right let's see yeah ninja master no there's no way dude here let's do three let's do three and then we will we will do 30 of these guys right here uh, I'm not sure what 30 is actually. So 21,000, I guess. Yeah, let's uh something like that. Okay, so we have three chicken men men versus 30 ninja masters. We'll see how well this goes. They might actually start hitting each other. I, I should have maybe. Oh my god, they're actually keeping them back, dude. Oh, dude, they are actually keeping them back. This is crazy. Oh, th they can't even do anything. Maybe maybe we have to use five the chick uh, the ninja masters are epic They are they have already killed two of them. Oh my god guys. I did not expect them to be that good Okay, so since they are that good Let's use five we have to use five They just blast them back and they kill all their minions because they throw these ninja stars so fast. Oh Man, this is this is crazy yeah, they can't even like the chicken men men are shitting out the things and they can't even shit out them other men fast enough 
the ninja masters are absolutely destroying. Now, they actually, a few of them have died already. Is Do the bodies kill? Like, can you get, can, oh, look at this guy. He has thousands of ninja stars inside of him. And my computer's starting to lag a little bit from all the ninja stars. Oh my god, they might actually lose this one. This was a pretty close battle. There's just too many chicken guys around. They're getting overwhelmed by chickens. No, can they at least take out one more? This would be an even closer battle if they could take out one more. Maybe the perfect number would be like 30 versus 4. Maybe. I'm not sure. They're still going strong, though. They're just... <laughs> this guy over here... This guy over here has so many ninja stars in autumn. It, that is nuts. Oh, they've taken out another one. There's only, no, no, they haven't. There's, only, there's two left still. But yeah, they're, they're getting surrounded by chickens everywhere. They're just getting pelted with chickens. Oh, oh, they've taken out a fourth one. Oh my god, guys. They might actually be able to take out... They actually won! The 30 chicken guys actually won. That is crazy. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good battle. Good suggestion, man. Both of those suggestions were awesome. Okay, so someone wanted to try Ninja versus Samurai. We'll go ahead and clear those guys. So let's go ahead and do some, let's see, Samurai Masters, Ninja, Ninja Masters. Should we do Normal Ninjas versus Samurai? Or should we do Samurai Masters versus Ninja Masters? Let's do Normal Ninjas. Let's do, I don't know, however many this is right here. Uh, well, you know, we'll just get a bunch. Let's just get a bunch. They cost almost the same. So we got whatever that is actually let's get 8,000 exactly wouldn't that be like a hundred yeah that'd be like a hundred so we have a hundred ninja mat or ninjas versus a hundred samurai okay well I got it fully set up we are about to see the epic battle but so the the ninjas are definitely by far taking out most of these guys oh yeah they're taking out most of them before they can even get to it there's just a wall of bodies oh no the ninjas absolutely destroyed them okay so let's get rid of some of these ninjas let's just try let's do an even five thousand money versus five thousand money that's close enough that means the the uh, the samurais here uh will have like a little bit of an advantage hopefully anyways hopefully a little bit of it. it looks like it's not gonna matter really they are just getting mowed down just absolutely mowed down that is crazy okay so there's one more I want to check out. I'm going to set this up. This is a little bit more of a complicated setup. And apparently you could put units in trees and stuff. Like I can stick a sniper rifle guy in the trees. Actually, you know what I want to do? Let's go ahead and clear this side. Let's do the M16. Yeah, let's do one M16. I don't know how good this guy is. <laughs> Dude, one M16 guy is just going to mow them all down maybe. It's just mowing all of the samurai. They're bringing a sword to a gunfight. No, nope, they won. Okay, there was just too many samurai. But probably several M16s uh, was are going to be good. And people said M16s are just good in general. So, yeah, I'm going to pause it. I'll be back. We're going to set up this other one. Okay, guys, so we are back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and list off what we have here. We have 10 M4s on the red side. I'm doing the red side first. 10 M4s, or which by uh, actually M16s. He said M4, but he meant M16s. Five thieves spread out. I just put them on the sides. I didn't know exactly what he meant by spread out. One sniper musket, uh, one sniper slash musket man in the tree. Uh, and I have this guy like right here. Let's see if we can actually get a close up on him. He's like right there in the tree, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we have three. Or three ballistas as artillery in the back. So we have three ballistas right there. And then on the other side, there is, uh, he wants 10 M4s. Or M16s, I should say. Actually, I did five. Let me do, let me do five more here real quick. I'm not sure he said spread out. So 10 M16s spread out. That's kind of spread out. Maybe he wanted it random or whatever. Uh, two sniper musket men in the trees. So we have one guy right there and we have one guy over here. And then three cannons in the back. So we're going to see. This seems like a weird matchup where it seems like this guy, this side definitely has more uh, M16s maybe. Oh, no. They have, they have the exact same number of M M16s. Okay. Uh, except for this side has... Um, five extra thieves and only one sniper and this guy has two snipers and then it's kind of like cannons versus catapult so we're gonna see how it goes also someone said i can slow it down by pressing left click oh dude that is so cool so you can hold left click you don't press it you hold it oh dude that is so awesome i wonder oh look at him fly away man that is so awesome i like the slow motion effect i thought maybe you could like scroll wheel and slow it down to what you want but you have to hold left click and it seems like you can't really uh control the slow motion very well oh my god i wonder if shrapnel can actually kill people like i wonder the shrapnel from the cannonball they're actually shooting the cannonballs out of the air that is nuts man uh so it looks like only the cannon guys are left 
And it seems like catapult and the three M16s. Yeah, this does it. Oh yeah. Red completely won. I'm not sure how they won. They only had the had the thieves left. But let's go ahead and do this again. And then we're gonna see what happens um to the snipers in the tree. So do the snipers get taken out pretty early? Let's see, let's watch this guy. No, he just, <laughs> he straight up fell out of the tree. <laughs> he straight, and then he got demolished on the way down. So it seems like they don't really stay up in the tree. Maybe I'm not putting him up there properly, but that's really funny. They just straight up fall out of the tree. Maybe because I'm not putting him close enough to the battle so they can't just sh uh, shoot out of the tree. I don't know. But yeah, they just straight up fall out of the tree. That's pretty funny. Okay, so we're going to let this uh, kind of like do its thing, I guess. And I'm assuming red side's gonna win just because for some reason they're M16s. Maybe where the M16s are in a line, they're taking out the ones that are spread out better. Because it should be 10 on each side. Yeah, I did it right. Okay, so yeah, it's 10 on each side. These are just thieves, five thieves. One, two on that side, three on this side. Uh, so yeah, we did the some of the suggestions here. What I'm gonna do now is let's go back to campaign. Yes, and then I want to actually finish beating the campaign today. And some people said I've been using some of the same strategies, so they want me to change it up. So we have 2,000 money. Let's actually, let's change up our strategies a little bit. So we could use a Trump. That might be pretty funny. We could use a Hillary. I think we tried a Hillary, didn't we? We can't. We don't have enough money uh, to use an M16, but we could actually use some Ninja Masters. So let's use two Ninja Masters, and then let's use a bunch of Ninjas. Let's use Ninja Masters and then Ninjas, guys. Let's see how well they actually do against the Vikings here. Slow motion. So, oh, they're actually, oh, no, never mind. It's not going to do good against shields. I completely forgot about that. Uh, but actually, no, the Ninja Masters are, oh, they're actually doing good because they have a lot of health. They're actually slowly backing up, which is surprising. Oh, dude, all these guys got, like, taken out at the same time. The Ninja Masters are OP, dude. They took out all the Va Vikings almost instantaneously. Oh, yeah, the Ninja Masters are so good. Oh, oh, that guy got taken out. Oh, oh, can he, can he take out this dude before he gets hit? Okay, no, never mind, that guy's still alive. Slow motion. <laughs> it looks like we won. Nice. The Ninja Masters absolutely destroyed. So we're in the next one here. It looks like a bunch of spear guys, and then we got some Vikings. You know, and we got 2,000 money again. Let's just do the same strategy. I feel like I know we're doing the same strategy uh, once we find, like, a winning formula, right? But that's probably all right. So we're going to do that, and then the Samurai Master will kind of, like, be on the front lines, right? And then we'll just do uh, one ninja. Sure. Actually, no, two Samurai. We'll do two Samurai, uh, one Samurai Master, and then two Ninja Masters. And we'll see how well this does against uh, this entire army right here. Uh, I'm assuming... This guy is going to probably do pretty good, but he might end up dying to the Vikings just because there is a lot of Vikings here. Or a lot of big guys, I should say. A lot of axe guys. Uh, so the ninjas are the samurais are definitely blocking for the ninjas. This is good, man. This is really good. The samurais are d distracting 100% right now. Yeah, I don't even think the Vikings are even going to be able to get close enough to even hurt, uh, hurt these guys. And this guy right here is just tanking like a freaking boss, man. He's just tanking like a boss. <laughs> I think it's funny how they like grab on. They freaking just grab on and then they like hold on. It's crazy. Is this guy still alive or is he dead? Oh no, I think he's dead. We have one. Oh no, we got this. We have one ninja. I don't know. Is this a ninja master or is that a normal ninja? It's one ninja versus like one spear, dude. Oh no. Oh, we won! He has two spears in his face. I can't believe we won right there. So now we're starting to add in some catapults and then this is still just vikings vikings and catapults so maybe what we do okay so we're taking a much simpler strategy of this we're doing one barrel guy in the front and hopefully the ninja masters nah i should have put them farther back hopefully they can't catch up oh my god oh this was this just absolutely wrecked havoc no dude it's the it's like the catapults that are the the ballistas or whatever that are just causing absolute mayhem on our dudes yeah look at that he got taken out really fast so we did take out all the dudes we just have these guys left so if he can't if he can no we lost no i'm having such a hard time on this okay guys we're back so i've been trying some stuff here to try to finally beat this level and i haven't been very successful but my best success so far has been using archers uh, and because I tried to use ballistas to take out the other ballistas, but it didn't work very well. They'd always target mine first. Um, so I don't know if they have like some sort of priority or maybe it's just because it's the closest thing. I was hoping if I made mine the closest thing, it would actually target theirs first. Uh, but it only worked like once out of five times. So 
We have a couple ninja masters. We have some archers. And then I kind of want to still use that barrel guy because I feel like the archers can actually take out the catapults uh, pretty easily just since there's a lot of them. So what we're going to do is let's go ahead and do another barrel guy here right here in the front. And then let's go ahead and get some archers. Yes, and we're going to do some archers over this way. Yeah, that many. And then I'm hoping the archers on the side. See, this is going to go through the middle. And then these guys are going to take out the middle guys. And then the archers should be able to take out the catapults pretty easily. So, yeah, they, they took out that one catapult, which is good. And then hopefully... Oh, yeah, these guys took out that catapult. So, hopefully, we only have the catapult way in the back that we need to worry about. And then they're all going to converge... Oh, no. This guy got left. And, oh, no. All of our archers over here got taken out, I think. Uh, but we still have our ninja masters. And we have two archers left. So, hopefully, between the two archers and then the ninja masters, they will be able to take out this uh, final catapult here. Oh, no. See, fire slow. So, that's to our advantage. If we can just get close enough. If we can just get close enough. Yes! Yes! I'm so excited. So, we beat that. And then now... Oh, guys. Now, we have samurais. Now, is this just 100% Samurais? Okay, so I don't know what level we are. Let's go go back here. Let's play. So we're on 16. Let's actually, I feel like Samurais are going to be easily taken out by ninjas. Uh, I know we've been using ninjas, but we're just going to go ahead and use some more ninja masters here. So we're going to do one, uh, two ninja masters, and then sure, why not? And if the two ninja masters don't work, we'll just mass produce just ninjas. And I, I feel like they're going to just die before they even get to us. And the, I mean... Compared to the Ninja Masters, they, they should be... Oh, they're actually not... Oh, God. They weren't actually getting hit there at first. I was, I was like, kind of worried about it. No, what are you doing? You're the Apprentice. You need to stay behind the Masters. Oh, no. The Apprentice got taken out, man. He got straight taken out, dude. Oh, yeah. They're going to be able to do this. No problem. I like how they slowly back up as the enemy gets closer. That's pretty good. Instead of just, like, standing there. So, if they just stood there, this would be way harder. Oh, no. One of them got taken out, man. Can we do one versus all of these Samurais? Ah, oh, maybe. Maybe. I think he's actually far enough away where he can take everything out. Oh, we have one samurai left. Yes! <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, we got that one. No problem. Okay, guys. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Help me out tremendously. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is what we have to look forward to next time. Now, I mean, I guess I could have just, like, went through the entire campaign all in one shot. But I decided, let's break it up a little bit. You guys can give me, like, helpful uh, suggestions and hints on the way. And it's kind of like we're both side kind of playing it, playing it or whatever. And also, suggest more battles down below that we'll check out. And we'll try to do some cool things. Uh, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.